In the last tutorial, we changed our color and brightness every time we wanted to ch to paint a texture onto our level, and that's not the most efficient way of doing this. If you change layers, you're going to have to set these every time, and it's hard to get the exact setting. So a better way is to go to your texture layers and change the layer texture. I told you to set it to gray last time. Instead, we're just going to use a low-res bitmap of the color that we actually want to paint onto the screen. So I already did this for our grass texture in Photoshop, made a 64 by 64 bitmap and dragged it into my CryEngine game textures custom grass folder. There it is alongside the DDS and the CryTIFF that you created. So we'll go ahead and do this for the sand, open Photoshop, make a new 64 by 64 image, fill it in with the color you want, I already found a nice sand color. You can save it with the same name because it's going to be a different file extension type. I use bitmap because that's what they have been using in the CryEngine. And the default settings are fine. Now you have your new texture. Go ahead and place that into the CryEngine game textures alongside your other one. And I already have one in there. So now back in the editor, excuse me, you want to go to your textures, change layer texture and find that sand bitmap and that's going to make it now so that every time you paint your sand the default color is automatically your ideal color you don't have to mess with this setting every single time now I did the same thing for my dirt texture and threw that in the CryEngine and I believe the most correct way of doing this may be to use a low resolution version of your texture and apply some blurs maybe some other effects to get the most realistic look from far away but I found that these solid colors gave me for my preference the best look and you can see now I just added sand to our entire background I'll add some dirt to the lower areas and some grass on top and it's very important that you really fine-tune your settings it's gonna take multiple layers some vegetation and we'll learn how to add repeating 3d elements of vegetation onto these textures but for now it's very important that you fine-tune these settings such as the hardness which will determine basically how hard this is uh, painted on here so if you turn it down you can get some very light painting around these edges that's gonna be very important for blending so yeah if you have any suggestions let me know and I'll update these tutorials thanks a lot